morning and welcome to the beautiful Danube Delta. And here are some chickens to say good morning. Oh, today I am leaving the beautiful Danube Delta. Hasn't it been beautiful? But I've got to go. It's been a short visit to Romania, as usual, too short. But I've really enjoyed it, and the Delta was so beautiful and quiet. But today I've got to drive from the Delta to Bucharest. Then I'm catching the Flix bus from Bucharest to Bulgaria, to Sofia and Bulgaria. So, first step, let's get to, where am I going? <laughs> Let's get to Bulgaria. No, 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 no. Let's get to Bucharest, drop off the hire car, then get a taxi to the bus station and catch the bus. <laughs> An eventful journey from the Delta back to Bucharest. Um, left a bit late. A nice uh, morning in the Delta. It was very nice. Um, Total my way through, and then there was an accident on the road, and I got blocked for like three hours just sitting there. Anyway, through that now. There was beautiful sunshine, heavy rain. Now it's early evening. Just filled up with petrol, and I got a free ice cream. So I better eat that before it melts, and then we'll head to Bucharest. Still another hour out. I'm going to be uh, tapas. I was seven now. I was meant to be there at six o'clock, I said to the host. And I've got no way of contacting them. I've got no signal here and no Wi Fi on my phone. So I'm sorry, host. It's going to be nine o'clock, three hours late. Blame the traffic. Anyway, let's test this ice cream. Mm. 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 Chocolate and vanilla with nuts. Good job, I'm not allergic. Cheers. Good evening! What a long day it's been with one for another, but I have arrived at my Airbnb, I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's echoing here, and I've got the keys. Oh, here we go. Got the keys. Fifth floor, couldn't park the car very close. So, I've had to unload the car in two stints while coming backwards and forwards. About a ten minute walk with my bag, so now let's... Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Close the doors of the diving bell and. Oh my goodness. Let's go to floor five and have a look at our flat. Anything happening? Nothing's happening. Whoa. Okay, now it's moving. <laughs> I'm not nervous. Definitely taking the stairs next time. Let's get out of here. Hope we're on the fifth floor. Does it say fifth floor? Five, yes. And we're looking for 14. Oh, look at that. Here we go. And let's go in. And let's go in and show you around my place to stay in Bucharest. Okay, look at this. First of all, lounge with its own mini bar, well, a bar area at the end. Nice big TV, isn't that beautiful? Aircon in here, and it does look out over the street, but no noise. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's quite busy out there, but five floors up and good windows, there's no noise, so that's really nice. So here, oops, there we go. 
is the lounge TV controls, but air control, aircon control. So that's the lounge. That's huge, isn't it? There's a wash, a big sort of entrance with a washing machine. In it. I do need to do some laundry. Then there's the kitchen, which is very pretty. A area for sitting and eating. Big fridge and freezer. I don't think I'll be able to fill that. Oven, hot plate, kettle, coffee maker, all pots, pans, and everything as well. That's good. And a hob and an oven. And a hoover, should I feel like cleaning up, which uh, won't make that much of a mess. But yeah, that's the kitchen. Looking very nice. We'll try and get that in action. First of all, we need to get some food to put in it. That'll be my next job as soon as I finish showing you guys around. Into the bathroom. Again, spotlessly clean, really nice toilet, hand basin with soaps and a big shower at the end with shampoo, toilet paper, everything provided there. A black basin, that's quite unusual. Then, the bedroom. Nice big double bed. Nice little blue colour. And again, it's quiet in here. So that's nice. I do like a quiet spot to sleep. And it is close to the action. I'm literally right on the edge of Old Town. Old Town actually faces the back of the building. I'll see if I can get these open and show you a little bit of here. You can see it facing out on the street, but there's no noise coming up, so that's nice. That's actually the main road. Um, oh, there's a hoot of a horn. Oh, there's a cub there. Put all my bags are in there. Um, so we finally arrive three hours later because of an accident on the road. Not our accident, but we get held up, hold up, held up by a road traffic accident that we had to sit behind. Um, so really nice flat in Bucharest. Just on the other side of Old Town, literally when I went outside, turn right, turn right, I am in Old Town. It's a really great location. It's modern, it's clean, and it's quiet. So that's great. in Bucharest, the Autogar Militie, Bucharest bus station. About 20 minutes ride from the centre old city to here and there's my bus. So let's go and experience the Flix bus. Oh, I forgot to mention price. I think it was 15 euros for an eight hour journey. Nice big bus. Aircon's pumping, that's good because it's hot out here. My baggage is already on. Driver. Bags. Let's get on board. Welcome to Bulgaria. When we crossed the border, we didn't get off the bus, so it's the first time actually off the bus in Bulgaria. About an hour across the border, went past, uh, was it Ruz? The first thing you notice when you cross the border is the language changes. Can't read the signs. 
I'll find some examples for you. But we just stopped for a stretch of the legs and a cafe stop. But I've got no money. Well, no local money. I don't know if they take Romanian Ron. They probably take Euros, but I stopped up on snacks on the bus. So I'm just out to stretch my legs, maybe use the bathroom, and then go back to napping on my bus. The bus is quite nice. It's uh, nothing special. The seats aren't very big, so if you're a big person or a tall person, you might be a bit squished in this bus. Um, there is USB sockets for charging. Aircom, that's pretty much it. Well, made it to Sofia. Off the bus. Got here nice and early. Got here at uh, earlier than expected. Bus station was nice and quiet. Went and found an ATM. Got some li, le, got some lev, got some local money. Bought some water, so I had some change for the taxi, then found a taxi and hopefully to my accommodation, which is somewhere down. Second floor, there is a lift, but uh, I walked up because you know how good I am with lifts. And let's break in and show you. Now we're in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. So it doesn't really have a lounge, but it has a sort of like a bed sit diner with a little table, nice bed, wardrobe, there's an aircon. Pretty looking, lots of plug sockets. There is a nice sunny window as well. There is also a television, Wi Fi, bookcases, lots of big pictures everywhere, uh, an umbrella. Hopefully, I won't be needing that. And then you go through to oh, the kitchen's through there, but I think, yes, let's pop into the bathroom on the way again. Nice, spotlessly clean bathroom. Uh, big. Biggest shower in the corner. Wow, so clean. Lovely and clean. Again, quite a smallish bathroom, but it'll do. Nice little sink and toilet. Toilet paper. And, uh, and then through to the kitchen, which has a washing machine, kettle, coffee maker, teacups, fridge, oven, toaster. Everything you could need. And a little balcony, is it? I thought there was a door there. And then uh, a little view out the back. Not much of a view, but uh, the ladder if I need one. I'll do my washing and laundry here. So there we go. Welcome to Bulgaria. Welcome to Sofia. And welcome to my little pad for the next couple of days while I get sorted out and start planning my exploration of Bulgaria.